over a couple of bits when you know how you rate my some energy. So if he comes in and throws a punch on using my bulk cell from here, as soon as he presses, I should already be using it from there. Okay, just one single point straight down that center. I don't want to go in a bomb cell here and press against it and try and hold that energy, no matter how good your stance is. Okay, because he's coming forward with energy. So from here, all it is, is just a rotation, Susie fall, there. You've got all this position to attack from, you can work with whatever you're going to work with. The other thing you've got to remember is every single thing has to have the correct distance. Fist distance, uh, gun cell, fist distance, everything's got to be like that. Whether you're using a jump cell, or a bong cell, or a tan cell. So never let, if he's punching, never let your bong cell collapse. Okay, you're never doing this. It's a deflection, it meets and it spins off. So it meets and it spins off, so you can work from there. They're the positions that you're using. The last thing, when you're using a LARP cell, it's on off energy, it's got to be quick. So as soon as I LARP, as soon as I get any energy from this position here, as soon as I LARP here, it's not a pull down to my waist. That's just an obstacle. So as soon as it's an obstacle, it's out of the way. Okay, just that short burst of energy. So if I punch at him and he goes to something, there's my LARP. I'm using it as a short burst of energy. There are three points you need to really remember. Any questions on that? When you laugh, is that, is that towards you then? Yeah, it's just a, it's a short explosion. It's, the elbow is here, and it's like there's a metal bar between the elbow and, the, and the, the hip bone. And all it does is just move slightly. If that's in the way that Wing Chun economy of motion, they'll say, move it like this, because it doesn't need to. It just says, short, sharp, bang, there it is, and I can work again. And as you see, you start on his thumbs. You don't even need to grip it as long as your hands are the, the, the grip is the fingers. And it's short, sharp there. No, that's what I'm saying. You ain't got a grip. You've got, got to have your hands turned no, to catch just, it. It just catches with whatever fingers you need to. Because then that can become the attack. If I'm pulling down here, that's never going to become the attack. I suppose if you're pulling down as well, you you tension your arm, what's taking the whip out of it as well, isn't you? where your fingers are just there and catch it, it's sleeves. To it? move his, his position, to pull anything into me, requires the bicep muscle. Okay, so if I'm tensing the bicep muscle for too long, if he presses against that and recognise, I'm in trouble. So it has to be on off. Okay, cheers, Paul.